So what do you do when your corals die when the swap over? You buy new coral, more SPS, of course. But from a reef attic, that's one cot, that's one frag, that's one. I got that one from Unique Corals. It's an orange digi. Uh, get ready. I like to see those colors come back. Um, that was my uh, my green slime ball, and it's pretty much croaked on the bottom. I'm hoping that it comes back on the top and just continues to grow. I broke a piece of that. It's my other frag. Forget what it's called, some type of pink table. That was a freebie. Uh, I guess a torque, maybe. I got this one, is a blue stag from uh, Unique Corals. Pretty decent. Got a grape SPS back there. True reef tank. 75 gallon. And this is an update. Just letting you know what everything is going on. I just recently moved into the my new house about a month and a half ago. And um, of course we had to move the 75 gallon. And um, it was a uh, it was pretty hectic. I lost a few colonies. Uh, as you can see there is one in the back. If you go back in the older videos, that was like a bluish purple. I lost it. I lost my green stylo here, like uh, the, the mother colony. It clipped, completely wiped out on me. Uh, my white rhino is gone now. Um, I think I had one red SPS that croaked out as well. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, a couple of the SPS died off. None of my other corals died off. They all did pretty decent during the move. I also went through a somewhat of cycle and um, had brown algae everywhere, diatoms came around and they just were everywhere. But um, I pretty much just let the tank do what it do. I added pristine, which is a, some, a waste management ordeal, it's like a pristine which is a, has bacteria in it. And uh, I, when I added that, literally like all the brown algae started to die off. It was just pretty much adding an ecosystem to the um, filtration and with that being said with a few moving of a couple corals different placements uh, of course my rock work is not the same but of course it gets better so this one looks better than my uh, the one I had at the apartment I think looks much better I did change one thing and that would be the lights I, I'm still running the Jabois but I just moved my whites my white lighting up to what is it? Um, six percent by six percent. So is that twenty six now? Oh yeah, and I lost my trigger fish. So I lost him by I put him in a bag, which it was my fault. I didn't think about it. I put him in a bag with water, plenty of water. But the thing is, he has teeth, and with his triggers, his trigger actually have corner pointy things on the end of it when he let, releases them, and. Um, Basically, he poked a hole in the bag, drained all his water out. When I finally seen him, it was too late, pretty much. So, that suck. Replaced him with a matter tank. I always have to have one peacekeeper in the tank because Double J right here goes crazy. You see, I went with a lot of damsels because I know they come in so many different colors. So, I went with that. I might get uh, maybe a flame angel and uh, two clownfish, but nothing more extra than that but anyway um these are some of the sps that i bought to replace the colonies that i lost so i'm um, not sure what that one is but it's red kind of like a yellow growing if you can see when it grows it got like yellow and uh but it's coming back i guess this was supposed to be a grape coral but it's pretty, it has some grape in it, uh, purple in it, but uh, it's more so green, as you can see. Um, that orange digi in the back. It's a uh, uh, Horida, Horida SPS. Just got it. Uh, fancy Flame. Got a 
pink table, whatever it is. Something else is like a turquoise with white polyps, but they're all growing pretty decent. As you can see, I almost lost that green colony there, but um, it's starting to come back. Algae is still over it, but once it starts to grow, it'll bring itself back out. Uh, everything, like I said, I, I, I did. Had to bounce back with this focus, I guess. I'm not sure what this is. It's, um, it's kind of blue, blue and green, but it's a stag. I know that for sure. Got some little red people eaters. My Monty. My Bunzai is still doing great. Growing. Looking good. Uh, kind of blends in with that purple rock. So I might end up moving it sooner or later. My Duncan Coral. And my um, Candy Cane is amazing. Such a huge piece. Oh yeah, my yellow eye chalice might end up moving it soon, as you can see. It's in between that monty and that uh, toast and that toast is starting to open back up. It's going to be massive when it opens. So I'm definitely going to end up moving that. But anyway, the rainbow five year, looking healthy, looking good. Also, didn't show you my, I think it's a purple monster or something, SPS. Has purple tips with a green body. Some type of five year back there, just stuck it back there. Frog sponge, my little LPS area. Don't have much room before they end up touching, so I might have to do something about that. Nice little chalice here. I forget what this is. Elkhorn SBS is what it's called. Got another little frag in the back. A cans do pretty awesome. It look look decent, definitely. Nice little bubble coral that I had. These things are amazing. I actually bought them and they were pretty much gone. And now they're coming back. They look good. I didn't buy them. I actually got them for free. So My Lobo is growing amazing. I still have Orange Monty everywhere. Which I definitely would be trading for some store credit. I'm still running the 70, I mean a 10 gallon. I have not made my 20 gallon sump yet. Uh, just because this works and it's like why mess with it, but anyway, um, I might end up doing it one day But I also have a 220 gallon that's just sitting out waiting right now on me So I'm not sure still running the same protein skimmer the cat like third generation I like it people never don't really like it a, a cat like uh, skimmers a lot But um, I'm gonna do an update on it and I literally been running this ever since I had a reef tank and it's done amazing for me so I don't know what everybody else, I guess, you know, to each his own, so I guess that's what it is. But anyway, tons of algae in the sump, as usual. But anyway, this is the update on True Reef, 75 gallon reef tank. Thank you, like, and subscribe.